Hi, I'm Melissa Glennie, founder and president of Franklin Professional Associates. Welcome to my home. This is the best seat in the house. I'm talking about having a remote workforce and the three benefits that I see as being uh, at least top tier. The number one benefit is definitely from a recruiting standpoint, the, the net that you're able to cast. When I started my business, I was in a position where I just couldn't afford labor in my local geography. I live in Massachusetts and it's not the cheapest place to live uh, and to uh, be paying people uh, from an employer standpoint. So um, I was in a position where I was kind of forced to look at my options and that's what, you know, eight years ago started um, uh, the path for me to learn about this and learn the ways to effectively um, vet onboard, train, and um, manage, lead people on a remote basis. So uh, just imagine what you would be able to do if you were not um, uh, restricted to the, your local geography from a recruiting standpoint and thinking about p candidates who are just commutable to you, but uh, opening up to a regional, national, or global scale, what that could do for you and having that labor pool available to you. The second thing is flexibility. So uh, the, the point I wanna make about flexibility is that it is a two-way street. And if you're offering that flexibility to employ to your employees, uh, that's something that I find hands down to be so appreciated and increasingly so important. It's almost gone from a, a nice to have for many people to a must have. And it is a two way street. So if you're extending that flexibility to your employees to whatever extent you can based on your business model, just consider that that's something that you can also be reaping for yourself and your family, having the ability to take a break in the afternoon to have lunch with a partner or take a couple hours uh, to spend with the kids and then, you know, catching up or, or, you know, proactively working on projects later in the evening when everyone else is busy doing their own thing. So that's something that, you know, you can also appreciate personally. The last thing that I want to mention, it, which I alluded to earlier, is cost savings. When you are in a position where, especially if you're in, a, in an area where wages are higher, um, you have a great opportunity to consider talent that might live in other locations where wages are much lower and you can take advantage of um, the, uh, the, the gap there and really save some money for your organization and allow you to reinvest that money uh, into other areas as well. So I hope that this was helpful. If you found it valuable and only if you found it valuable, please like, uh, subscribe. And the next video that I'm gonna put out is going to dive into the uh, considerations from a technical standpoint on how to uh, effectively onboard that train and make sure you're maintaining security when you have a remote, a remote workforce. So if you do subscribe, just hit the bell. So next week when we publish that video, you'll be notified that that's available. Thanks so much for tuning in.